every time you compete, you have to get so in the zone and so focused and so hyped up just the right amount. A lot of people are like holding themselves to high standards with this event. I know that, you know, the returning athletes are really training specifically for this coming into this event and they want to prove themselves again. Like Atkins, he's defending champion. He wants to win again. And I think I try to save my energy for the events instead of like waste it on pointless endeavors like stress or comparison between other athletes. For me, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself to perform like it's, it's been a long season. So my main goal is just to have a good time and, and test myself in new ways. Nice curl. Thanks. <laughs> 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 I'm excited. I needed this badly. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day three of Spartan Games. We have a massive day in the morning, wrestling, and then we're going to do the pacer test. And after that, we're going up the hill for the La Ruta Mountain Bike Challenge. We're super excited about wrestling coming back this season. I mean, it's, a, it's such a perfect sport for Spartans. It's so athletic, the strength, the agility, the, the sort of mental elements needed in wrestling. It's perfect for Spartan guys. I'm going up against Lane, you know, uh, special warfare guy. High face Meg. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. I'm excited. Uh, I start out with Kent. I'm going to fucking twist him up into a pretzel. After finding out I was going to come here and, uh, and Hunter was going to come back, I was like, man, I hope they have wrestling again, and I hope I, can, I hope I can wrestle Hunter. This is something I really wanted to do. All right, everybody, welcome to Spartan Combat Wrestling. And for the next few hours, you're going to be taking each other on one on one. Spartan Games 1 was a round-based format. This time, we changed it to single elimination. It was difficult to create weight divisions, so got rid of that idea and we did a, just a true random draw out of a hat. Uh, our referee for today is Matt Barber. Matt has 14 years of professional and amateur combat experience. Uh, everything from jujitsu, grappling, wrestling. He's also officiated a lot during that time. Yep. Oh, yeah. Round one, Tara versus Chris. Russell. And I, I couldn't believe some of the matchups. I mean, it probably seems like we faked it. I'm telling you, it was the real deal. Random draw. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. Good. Good battle, Good. ladies. Good battle. Keep it up. Point. Russell. Come on, finish it. Yeah. Oh. Point. Take. Point. Time. Yeah. Winner. About two weeks ago, I decided I needed to learn how to wrestle, so I've been kind of trying to learn. And, uh, Ooh, it's cold. Yeah. Could have been worse. One. Round two. Ariana versus Ariel. Ladies, shake hands. Fighter ready? Yeah. Fighter ready? Wrestle. I've always been big on like adventure. I've always thrown myself into things. But when I turned 14, I was diagnosed with a genetic disorder. I couldn't run a mile. I could only make it a half a mile before I was in too much pain. So for most of my adult life, this is what I've wanted. Point. Time. 
Winner. Yeah. So I nice like job. I love to compete. I love to race. I love going head to head. I think I just don't like the physical contact, like the aggression, like hand to hand physical contact. Um, and none of these ladies outside of the ring are aggressive at all. Um, and it's not even being fearful of them. It's just I don't. I don't know. I just I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to fight them. <laughs> Fighter ready? Fighter ready? Russell. Point. Russell. Point. Russell. Point. Time. Winner. I think I lost so much sleep the night before <laughs> because I, of course, drew Meg, who is incredibly strong. So to draw her name, I was like, it, I wanted it to be anyone else but her. And then, of course, she and I were the like our each other's first round. Good. You got, you got, you got. Point. Yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night and like was thinking about it and my just heartbeat was out of my chest. To, because there was so much on the line, I couldn't afford a zero or a really low score. Point. Russell. Point. As an athlete, we're always very self-critical. So I, I would say really every event, I, something not necessarily went wrong, but there's something I could have been better at and improved on. But I think it's just a big takeaway from the whole week is, you know, adapting, understanding what you're good at, what you're bad at, going back and training and coming back better next year. Time! Winner! There's a lot at stake. I needed this, so. I might be going up soon. Semifinals, round one. Chris versus Ariana. Wrestle. Oh. Point. Wrestle. Bad as I thought it was going to be, the 90 seconds is like the perfect amount of time. Um, but yeah, no, it, was, it was fun. Semifinals, round two, Lauren versus Corinna. Russell. Stop! Point. Russell. From last year's Spartan Games, the wrestling was so much fun, and that was really the first time a lot of us had really done anything like that. Um, and so to get to wait a whole year to do it again um, was really cool. And and I think the single elimination, as much as I complained about that or or <laughs> wanted that to be different, you know, with the time frame that we had to work with, 
I, that definitely added an element of making every moment count in that 90 second frame. I was so excited by the final matchup, Chris Roglowski and Corinna Coffin. Who could have expected an ultra endurance athlete, a trail runner, to be there at the final round, you know, of, of a wrestling uh, tournament? I must say, like, at that point, point. I was thinking, wow, this is what Rest, Spartan Russell. Games Aggress. is all about. Russell, turn right, turn right, turn right. Stop. Point. Nice. Russell. Get up, come on. Get down, Chris. Get down, Chris. Yeah, good. Turner. Turner to your left. Circle to your left, Chris. Stop. Nice. Right, Kurt up. Point. Russell. Stay low. Stay low, Chris. Drop. Nothing sucks so bad that you can't recover. Even when you're cramping and you're you're feeling bad about how you're doing and and you're you know you're getting kind of down because you're you're looking around, you still have to realize that the people that you're looking at are at the top of their class. Round one, Lane versus DJ. Russell. Here you go, boy, come on. Hey, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Push push you up. Point. What molds me to do this Russell. and what, what basically gets me to push myself really is other people. You know, I don't, I've never done anything for myself. I've never done anything for pride. And it's also Point. partly why I joined the United States Air Force, specifically EOD. And that's because of the brotherhood and because of what the job entails specifically. Stop, stop, stop. Point. Stop, stop, stop. Let's go, DJ. Point. Watch right there. Right right there. Time. Winner. At first, I thought I would just overpower him, but he's a lot stronger than he looks. He's a tough dude. I love that guy. I love wrestling, and you know, I knew that was one of my strong suits. Like when I saw that on paper, I was like, no one can touch me. That's just raw. Like as I said, it. I love raw. In the world, I don't think there's many people who can contest against me like that. Yeah. Shake hands, fellas. Fighter, yeah. ready? Come on, guys. Fighter, ready? Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Here we go, boys. Come on. Come on. Strong, strong, boys, strong. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Russell. Here we go, boys. Smart, smart. Down. Down. Come to the center. Yeah. Here we go. Russell. Point. Russell. Point. Go, no. Go, go. 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 To be honest, just like we talked about all weekend, it's like choose when you're gonna strike. Round three, Christian versus Tim. Shake hands, fellas. Fighter ready. Here we go, go boys. Fighter ready. Go. Russell. Christian, have control, dude. Have big control, dude. Be careful. Get in the fight, dude. 
When you do a sport over and over again, you kind of know what to expect. So you can prepare for those things accordingly. And you always kind of base your performance off of this previous standard that you already did. But when you do something totally new and totally unique, it's an adventure on itself. And you get to like find new places, your physical ability, your mental ability. And I think that is what draws me to it. I think anybody that's super athletic or you know competitive in nature, they hate finding holes, but love finding holes at the same time. Point. Time. Time. Winner. He was able to stay super tight. Like I was never able to like get a good position on him. Round four, Mac versus Ryan. Shake hands, fellas. Let's see it. Fighter ready? ready. Fighter ready. ready. Russell. After the wrestling draw last year, I was really Point. hoping that my luck would turn and I would have a, you know, a winnable first match for myself, which didn't end up happening. I got drawn against literally the biggest guy here. And I actually got squished pretty hard in one of the takedowns. It really kind of hurt my chest and my neck for the rest of the event. And I knew that you need, you don't want to get injured in this because you're competing so much and so often and so intensely um, that an injury can really ruin your entire experience. Good. Russell. Cut. Point. Russell. Time. Good job, fellas. Winner. Right here, yeah, that it. was intense, man. The uh, weight difference is huge. I'm probably twice his size, but he put up a great fight, and I landed on pretty hard on the chest. Felt a little bad, but I think he's uh, gonna be all right. Still a lot more to go. It's not over yet. I was never really good at wrestling. Uh, you know, just any of the things that I've ever done, martial arts, kickboxing. I was really excited that I was gonna be able to wrestle with Hunter just because I know how good of a wrestler he is. Semifinals, round one, Lane versus Hunter. Russell. It felt, it felt pretty good. It wasn't like I, I was being, I mean, I was being manhandled. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll go ahead and say that, but it wasn't like I was, I was completely new, but I was definitely outclassed. <laughs> Russell. Point. It's good. Uh, we made an agreement before. We were discussing about potentially just letting it go, just so there was no risk of injury. Because I'm a bigger guy. And then he was like, "Yeah, let's just go wrestle." And I was like, "Let's have some fun." If you had a little bit more technicality, you yeah. probably got points on me. That yeah, was fun. Dude. Yeah, dude, it was a real good match. Thanks for wrestling with me. Oh, dude, it was a blast. Yeah. Semifinals, round two, Tim versus Mac. Russell. Cut. Yep. Let's go, Tim. On team boat. Point. Russell.
Foot on. Basically what we have guys is we have two people potentially tied for six. Hunter and Ryan went for nothing and Mac and Ryan Atkins went for nothing. The athlete ranked higher in overall games shall be awarded a higher position. Okay. For the finals of the Spartan men's combat wrestling, Tim Szymanski versus Hunter McIntyre. Here we go, let's go boys! Yeah, Fighters, boys. Yeah. Gentlemen, shake hands. Fighter ready? ready? Yeah! Fighter ready? Russell. Going into the final matchup, I think Hunter thought he was going to be matched up against Christian. But he ended up getting matched up against Tim. Time! Medic! You guys got something for a Medic. leader? Tim uh, had his eye split open, the blood starts coming out, and, and that's when I think there was a bit of a change in tone. And uh, you know, things started to shift for Hunter. To be successful for me would be to do something that I think that I can. You want medical DNF? And I think that is what a lot of very competitive people chase. A success for me would be learning something new about myself, finding a hole that I can fill to make myself a more complete athlete, and you never know. Like if I if I find a love in this, then maybe that we can find a training method and not not let all these boys run all over me. <laughs> Russell. Come on, Come on Jim. Time. Stop. Point. Nice go, boys. Russell. Leaderboards after day three. Wrestling in the men's division. Tim takes the win. It's the first time we see the leaderboard really get shaken up. In the women's division, Corinna takes the title. Here we are, beautiful Big Bear Lake, event number two on day three, the pacer test, also known as the beat test. You guys are gonna run your guts out today. The pacer test is brutal. You might have done it in high school gym class or if you're a soccer player, something like that. But basically you've got these sets of, of cones and you've got to run back and forth in time with the beeps and the beeps get faster and faster and faster and by the end of it you're sprinting, sprinting and if you don't make the beep you've got one more chance to get to the other end and make that beep or you're out. about like the pivots and stuff, but um, I don't think it'll be too bad. 
Um, I found out about this beef toast about four days ago. It was the first time I've ever heard of it. I've never heard or seen this before, so it's very brand new. Start level four, one. Level four, nine. I think if I wasn't intimidated or I wasn't at least a little bit scared given the caliber of athlete here, I think I would be nuts. But at the same time, they're all just people and they've spent their lives, they've dedicated their lives to something. And so, of course they're better at it, of course they're good at it, of course they're, of course. Start level eight, one. Level eight, two. Level eight, three. Keep pushing, mate. Keep pushing. Level eight, four. Level eight, five. There are a lot of other competitions out there that are looking for fit athletes, right? But the goal here is we're looking for the fittest and most impressive endurance athletes in the world. Level nine, six. Level nine, seven. Six is out. Six is out. Level nine, nine. Good job, guys. Come on, Tara. Level nine, eleven. Here you go, Tara. You got it, girl. Start level 10, 1. Level 7 out. 2. Pacer test was, uh, I feel like it brought me flashbacks from PE class. But I am grateful that I got out when I did because Lindsay and, and Lauren were definitely by far the, the top two for that event. So the fact that I could save my lungs a little bit for the mountain bike later that day, I, I was grateful for that. Start level 12, 1. Level 12, 2. Level 12, 3. We reached level 12, and I underestimated like the amount of time that I had between the lines, and so I missed two in a row, and then all of a sudden I was out, but I wasn't necessarily like done cardiovascularly yet, so I was really upset because I had more left in me. Um, to get, and I had to quit. Keep going, Laura! Keep going, Laura! Keep going! Laura, get back! Get back! What the f***? She can keep setting a record. Level 12, 6. Level 12, 7. I'm never going to do it by myself, so um, it was really cool to get a group and uh, force us <laughs> to get it done. Um, Sorry, Watson, next time I'll try and go for a record. I have referees in position. Start level one, one. Level one, two. Level one, three. I started out basically as a wrestler through high school and college, and then got into CrossFit for a little while. In the sport that I personally like compete in regularly, like I do pretty well in those in that sport. I know my sport. So coming to a different sport where I'm a like a total novice at it, like that's scary, and the and the, the feeling of failure along with that is also scary, but it's exciting at the same time, right? Very little sleep, you know, six hours a night, four days of hardcore competition, uh, trying to figure out nutrition, cramping, getting over all the pain and uh, recovery. Uh, this, this is right up there with everything I've done before in my military career. Level eight, six. Level eight, seven. Level eight. Out. 
level 89. Level 9, 8. Level 12, 3. Level 12, 4. Level 12, 5. Level 12, 6. Start level 13, 1. Start on the bank! Level 13, 2. White, white. Level 13, 3. Level 13, 4. Level 13, 5. Pacer test was a lot of fun. That's just like, I do a lot of similar tests, but I knew that feeling when it gets really hard in like the last minute or two. And I was kind of waiting for that really hard moment when you kind of have to like dig deep down and like get that, those last, you know, that last minute of effort. And then the guy I was racing against missed a beep and was out. And then I was kind of just on my own. And so I just, I just stopped and was able to kind of like finish that off. Atkins is such a tough competitor. Um, I knew to beat him, There's a lot of we were just gonna probably go, keep going and going and going. And the moment I started falling, feeling like I was having trouble hitting the time, I just was like, ah. Said I didn't make it over there, which I'm pretty sure I did. I said your foot has to cross. So I started turning and putting my toe on the line like this. My heel was clearly across, right? But my toe was probably in front of the line, and they called that. Things got pretty tense uh, during the pacer test. Um, when Hunter and VJ were eliminated, for example, they were pretty angry. And, you know, they went straight into you know, arguing about whether they made the beep or not, and, and you know they felt that you know, the, the rules were unfair or there wasn't integrity. I think I just got knocked out because I ran, I was ahead of the beep and they called me out. At this point, I'm trying to find out, I think they screwed up on the wrestling points. They gave Ryan an extra six points when he was down on the ground. They should have been docked five. And I'm bringing that up and they don't want to show me the film for some reason. So I'm gonna make us think about it until I get to see the film. Hunter, in this case, wanted to see the footage. Now, sometimes we pull up the footage when necessary and we'll use that as a tool. Sometimes even, you know, an athlete may get an ability to see it, but most of the time, the refereeing team will make a decision and make that call. Listen to me, we made a call on the day. I saw it specifically. I just wanna see the film. You can see the film if and when we're able to pull it up, okay? But it's the decisions, I'm not gonna change the decision. I'm not gonna change the decision, Hunter. Oh, then leave. I don't care. It just, everybody will say the same exact thing. Hunter, it's got nothing to do with watching the film. We saw the whole thing. Event you're filming. Hunter. What, is this not the, a filmed event? Hunter, the, the film crew. One camera, Hunter, the film camera, crew that's here cameras, is capturing a film cameras, of the event. We have five cameras, six cameras, seven Count them out. Cameras. You can do what you like. I've got a lot of extra time. No worries. Count them out. It's fine. In this case, Hunter was saying he wasn't going to continue competing without seeing the footage. But the fact is that the refereeing team's job is to make a decision and whatever the call of the referee is, is the call that will stand. Hunter, I told you, if and when that's, that, that's a possibility, you can. But the decision's not gonna be changed because I had four referees make the call. I'm not worried by it. They told me that it's hard for them to find the film. Don't film me, dude. Off. In the leaderboards for the pacer test, in the women's division, not a lot of change in the leaderboard. And for the men, also not a lot of change, but some great performances nonetheless. Welcome to the top of the hill, event number three, day three, La Ruta Mountain Bike Challenge. Guys and gals, beautiful day up here. You've got three laps up here. After these three laps, you'll be taking a left-hand turn right here, and proceeding down the Going Green Trail where the finish line awaits you at the bottom. In war, as well as in uh, any time of competition or athletic response, uh, sometimes things don't go your way, which is why 
we're doing this unplanned adventure. So hopefully you guys are able to crush it like you guys have been doing and uh, look forward to seeing you guys at the bottom. La Ruta is the mountain bike challenge at Spartan Games and it's named after a very famous race in Costa Rica, which we put on at Spartan. It's uh, definitely one of the most difficult stage races in the world and uh, we thought it was appropriate to uh, name this challenge in its honour. Ready! I knew that a lot of these things were going to be endurance based and other than VJ here, um, there weren't many other endurance athletes. So I, I, I had a general idea of, of how it would turn out, but you never really know until you kind of get out there and, and get going. Athletes, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah! I've, I've just been mountain biking a lot more in the last couple of years, and um, that's just something I felt confident in, and like last year, I really just enjoyed the ride, so if anything, I just knew, hey, like, well, however, whatever I place, I'm still gonna have a lot of fun doing this. These, these are awesome trails. VJ had a great year, it doesn't mean he's had a great career. No offense to VJ, I think he's phenomenal. But it's interesting beating somebody who's like kind of held against the, you know, the tests of time. That's Ryan Atkins. Let's go, brother. Favorite event was probably the mountain bike race. It like rode really well and had a lot of fun and it was very flowy and I just was like, you know, yeah, I had a blast. <laughs> it was like riding a roller coaster or a street bike. I, that's how I explain it. It was like Christmas day. I felt like I was on a Cadillac going down those hills. We had the most epic scenery and trails and bike that I could ever ask for, and the amazing athletes. I'm always nervous, no matter, no matter who's coming. You don't know what to expect from the events. You don't know what to expect from the other competitors. You don't, sometimes you don't even know what to expect from yourself. Like, you don't know how you're gonna perform on something. Like, there's quite a few things here that I haven't done before, or I've done less than five times, so I don't, I don't know what I can do until I do it. The thing I love about mountain biking is it, it introduces a technical component because you're working with equipment, and we saw that happen with Karina Coffin. So I left my tool on the bench on my first lap, and it was a little bit rockier than I thought it would be for um, the course. But during that first, the end of the first lap, I was like, man, something's jiggling. And then on my second lap on the downhill section in the very beginning, it just, the jiggling got worse and worse. And then my seat started to, to move back and forth. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot to tighten my seat. I need a new seat. I need to put my seat on my bike. And um, I get through the second lap and, you know, call for the mechanic. And it was taking so long. I was freaking out. I'm just like, hands on my head, like, oh my gosh, this girl's gonna come by any minute and I don't know if I'll be able to make it up. She was riding, riding seatless for a good portion of that lap, which is like not a, an enjoyable form of riding a bike, so. I saw a blue bike lying down by the start line. I was like, Who's, whose bike is that? It was one of the airmen's. And so he's like, oh, that's, that's mine. Take it, take it. And so I was like, oh my God, thank you. Then I took off, shot out like a rocket, tried to make up a fast third lap. This is exactly what Spartan Games is about. It's the ability to adapt you know, to these moments of adversity, and not just adapt, but thrive. You know, and she, she still managed to push the pace. I have a sadness. I was like, I could have sworn I didn't ride it as she was, but the peel off no, was, was like seriously. Always have candy in your pocket. 
for times like this. It's moral support candy. Yeah, I have a phobia of myself. <laughs> I was like really terrified on the first lap, less terrified on the second lap, better on the third lap, and then yeah, I got a flat. Right here. Right here. Oh, yeah, follow me. The riders are going from the top of Big Bear Mountain and they're going to ride all the way down. That's challenging uh, for anybody that does mountain biking, let alone a lot of these athletes that have no mountain biking experience. That was awesome. Super fun. Yeah. Yeah, that last descent was so great. Ho, ho, ho. Dude, that descent was amazing. Freaking right. Let's take them. Right before I came through, like, those couple little jumps and everything, I just clicked it down and I was like, send it. Yeah. Toys on my back. End of day three, feeling yeah. good, yeah. feeling strong. Lovely. Yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Should be exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Oh man, that was fun. When I crossed the finish line, Chris, she, she finished in third, and she was 52 seconds after me. Oh, that was good. <laughs> So, I mean, that was, it was really close. I know it kind of seems like a long time, but, um, <laughs> but it did it to me, especially with, I felt like I had made a pretty good lead. I thought they were pretty euphoric when they came down. I think that's great. It's, uh, it kind of shows their resiliency. I think that uh, the event overall was well executed, and I think it was fantastic to watch. I, I, really, I really think it would have been more fun if we were able to do it with them. Um, but man, just watching them all come down and then seeing the stress of before and then after and kind of maybe is a good lesson for them to walk away as when things don't go necessarily your way or what you had planned, you can still make the best of it. Yeah! There you go, Keith! Nice. There you go, Keith! It's probably the one event I have the least experience in, but I always have the most fun in. The, the same went for last season. Uh, the mountain bike event, and the same goes for this year. It's just, it's just so much fun. It's probably my favorite event so far. I stopped to take some pictures because when I was coming down, it's like perfect sunset, and there's this beautiful pink on this side, and then the orange on the other side, and then I got the bike with it, and then I got me because selfies, and it was so awesome. I was like, I'm totally dying. I'm totally gonna die. I'm totally gonna die. So that was actually really fun. That was like a actually probably the, the confidence boost I needed to end on. So I understand why they did that. That was really cool. Overall, after three massive events, the leaderboard remains relatively unchanged on both the men's and women's side. What will day four produce? I've never held a gun before. I've shot a paintball gun and a bullet. There's so much riding on the Hero Within Challenge. It was a huge day for us. And Hunter's personality, and you know, he's got the sunglasses on and his sort of, you know, flamboyant way, and created a lot of pressure on Ryan Atkins and a lot of pressure on Ryan Kent, and indeed everybody. Yeah.